Hi everybody, hope you're all doing well. Thank you for coming here, clicking. You know, just being here is wonderful. I am so happy to have you. Today we are going to dive into a tried and true mascara that I think most people in their life have probably tried. And this is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume, the orange one. Now this was my tried and true mascara all throughout high school and I loved it. I adored it. I don't know if I picked waterproof at the time because I'm not sure if I was knowledgeable of the fact that waterproof helped keeps the curl, um, but I know that I loved the original formula. It has a fantastic um, kind of rubber bristle brush if that's what you like, which I do. I think it really can help kind of define the lashes and give a lot. But this is a mascara that I know my best friend loves it. She still uses it after probably a decade. People love this mascara and I hadn't tried it in so long and I'm really a fan of the CoverGirl Exhibitionist. I love this mascara. This tube is a little bit old, kind of dried out, but this is a bit more of kind of that, um, uh, what kind of, what am I thinking of? <laughs> Not butterfly. Oh, there is a word that I will probably not come to me, but a brush that kind of has that going in into the center uh, kind of style comparatively to the other uh, CoverGirl brush. And similarly, Lash Paradise does the same thing where it's kind of in and out a little bit with this brush, not as much as the CoverGirl one, but both Lash Paradise and CoverGirl Exhibitionist have been kind of my go-tos, but I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, honey, I picked this up and I think this runs a little bit cheaper than the others. I really like it. It's what I have on my lashes today. I can insert here a little uh, kind of me applying it. First thing I'm gonna do is curl my lashes. I always curl my lashes as my lashes are pretty much straight. So giving them a nice good curl always helps. Now when I curl my lashes, I kind of do a pulsing motion and I usually go back and forth twice. Take the lashes, put them in the curler, and just one, two, three. I kind of just feel it out. And the eyes already look more awake. So the one thing about Lash Blast that is always so interesting to me is it comes in a separate package. The wand itself comparatively, ooh, we got hairs in it already. Oof. Comparatively to the tube of mascara. So we will plunge her in at least once or twice to kind of make sure that we have product on the wand and let's just see how this does. This is uh, the waterproof, very black. As it coats my lashes, it does feel fine. I've always liked this brush um, because of it kind of being thick, but yeah, my lashes don't look as voluminous as when I use um, exhibitionist or Lash Paradise, but also, oh no, I nicked my shadow. <sighs> That's the worst, ain't it? We'll have to let it dry and then scratch it off, but it definitely looks like it can build up nice, like what I remember. Um, but also what I was going to say is this is the first kind of use. With time, I remember this formula getting better. But actually, maybe the trusty and old true formula still is pretty good. But wow, color me impressed. I always do a nice little coat on my lowers as well. Very rarely do I not do my lower lashes. And I certainly don't do them as thick, um, but I always coat them. And if anything looks a little too clumpy on the bottom, I usually just take my fingers fix what I need to fix. But like I was saying, I was telling you, I am really impressed. And I don't know why I ever thought that this formula went bad. It certainly didn't. I don't know if maybe I just wanted to try something new, but I do really like how my lashes look. Now, do they look as full as what they would with the others? I don't think so. I only gave it two coats and it is a fresh new tube. So that is something to keep in mind because I do think 
with time mascaras get better. I'm kind of tempted to maybe try to add a third layer after these last two have completely dried. Let's see here, how much can we build? But then I just want to see kind of how the curl and the lashes last throughout the day. But I really, I'm happily surprised and impressed. Now, their claims on this is that you get uh, get a blast of bold volume with iconic Lash Blast Mascara from CoverGirl in Waterproof, which is what we have. The Lash Blast Volume Boosting Formula and Brush are designed to leave you with big, bold lash look and can be removed easily with a CG Clean Makeup Remover. Um, yeah, I, I definitely think that it does give a nice kind of fullness to my lashes. I think what I'm missing comparatively to at least when I think about Exhibitionist is that I get a little bit perhaps more length with Exhibitionist as well as the thickness. And when I'm going in on mascara, I want it all. I want it all in the words of Miss Sharpay Evans. If you know what I'm talking about, we are friends for sure. Give me all the HSM vibes. Anyways, um, I really just want a very full lash. I want a lash that is long. I want a really just kind of full look, falsies look. That's what I always want. Um, and even on my no makeup makeup days, I like something that's fuller. Perhaps I, I tried this um, Bambi Eye Mascara and I forget if this is L'Oreal. Who even is this? Bambi Eye is L'Oreal. It's It was okay for me. This similarly is just a kind of rubber bristle brush and just kind of gives me fluttery more so lashes, which just is not my favorite, my kind of thing. Uh, also the L'Oreal Air Volume Mascara. This one is not a rubber bristle brush, but it is kind of a, a basic looking wand, nothing too spectacular here. And similarly with the lashes, nothing too spectacular. Uh, so far, out of mascaras that I've retried or have tried recently, this volume, Lash Blast volume, is winning right now because of just the classic formula that I think really is better than what I had anticipated. And I don't know if it's kind of just all the hype vibe of what happened when Lash Paradise came out. I really feel like everybody's like, oh my god, Lash Paradise. But you know, sometimes the old ones are good ones still, and we just kind of caught up in the hype. So, especially with the look here, I don't think it's very different than what I would get from Exhibitionist or Lash Paradise. I probably should have done one with one eye and one with the other. Maybe I'll end up doing that. Um, really, my lashes probably look pretty similar to how they normally do. I do think perhaps a little bit, little bit less in the length uh, department, but otherwise... I'm really, really happy with it. Like I said, I think this will even continue to get better with time. So all I'm saying is that if you need yourself a good mascara, I think this Lash Blast volume can do it for you. And I've always been a fan of CoverGirl's uh, mascaras. My other is probably L'Oreal. I just think CoverGirl knows how to do mascara. So I will probably uh, film some check-ins for you today uh, and just kind of see how the lashes are doing. If we got any flaky business, we sure, certainly shouldn't because this is a waterproof formula. So yeah, let's see how uh, this mascara rolls on out today. All right, everyone. Hi, everybody. So wanted to give you a little check-in. We are only like an hour in, so it ain't much of a check-in, but I am liking the lashes. I do think they feel feel a little bit harder, like more crunchy kind of feel than some. And especially I think the Exhibitionist, and that's kind of what I keep going towards because that is a different CoverGirl mascara. But this is still nice. I think it gives me some volume, some length. It's definitely holding my curl, which I will always appreciate. So yeah, we will continue this fun little journey check-in thing. Here you are in my bedroom with my lovely little tree. Mm, ain't it cute? I think it's cute. I have the little twinkly lights. Mm. But here I was doing all my photos for Instagram. If you feel like taking a gander, I got plenty of photos on my Instagram if you want to go check it out. Other than that, I'll check back in with you in, uh, you know, a couple hours. Hey everybody, hope you're all doing well. 
this is my little check-in again on this mascara and still feeling kind of crunchy but I actually think it looks pretty good I don't have any sort of fallout from that or any kind of flakiness from the mascara um I do think though when I look at the lashes they don't as I thought before they don't look as long as when I use exhibitionist so I probably still will continue to buy exhibitionist over this but I am not mad at this like I will definitely still use this tube up to you know the end of it all it's good it's a good mascara Mm -hmm. All right, everybody, I'm sorry for this pretty awful lighting, but where the lashes are concerned, they've done pretty well for themselves. We are about 10, 11 hours in, no flaking or anything, but they do perhaps seem like maybe the curl has dropped a little. Uh, they still are just as crunchy and yeah, probably not as lengthened as I have mentioned so many times before. But yeah. I am pretty pleased with this mascara. I probably wouldn't buy it again, but it was nice to reminisce and go back to one that I know I used so religiously for so many years. Um, and, you know, I wouldn't feel that bad if I had to use it for the rest of my life. Uh, so yeah, if you want to go back and relook into the Lash Blast line, um, I kind of am curious to see about the other ones, especially that clean one that came out. Uh, so yeah, we'll see if perhaps that comes in the future. All right, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are, or I guess evening, wherever you are and whatever you may be doing. I hope you're able to do something you love every single day. All right, guys. See you on the next one. Bye.